years to fathom iron bark lookout we've been waiting for this game forever bro jack nelson a 24 year old fire lookout transferred to a new outpost as he settled into his new home he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off little did he know what was transpiring down in the iron bark state park uh do i know what the fuck that mean no nope, but are we gonna play yeah so let's get it Fears of Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears of Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of this whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. <laughs> Sorry. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scary ex experience of my life. I feel like I'm reading the Bible. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. So what's a fire lookout, bro? Okay, never mind. Dumb question? Dumb question. My bad, my bad. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Damn, bro. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. Hey, you know what? An RV is kind of nice. You can do some nice shit with that. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of the official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and like traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh shit, here we go. Hey, nice. I love when they start me driving, bro, because I, I feel just in the game so far. I mean, I'm whipping this hoe. What is this? Damn, this might be like Lamborghini or something. I, I know my cars. Oh, we got a text. Oh, this had new little baby, Chet. They got the new little baby in this. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today. If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Did you pass Roseburg yet? New little baby's kind of fire, bro. I can't even lie. I lived a very solitary life. Got oh my God, this is my RV? This place looks nice, dude. I got like a kitchen and everything. Damn, bro. Hey, this thing goes zero to 60 and only, you know what I mean? Zero to 60. Yo, Perky, thanks for the follow, man. Sticky gaming, I'm pretty. Did I just get bitch slapped by a semi truck? Uh, Kayla Nelson. I remember there's this diner while passing roseburg they have the best burgers in town you have to try them. oh my god yo chat you eat a burger without cheese i think you're a psychopath okay if you eat a burger with no cheese on top you belong in a padded room you know what i mean oh this one kind of hits this one kind of hits i can't even lie no lights on, I'm stuck in my chair. Again. No lights on. She never come home, she never will feel me again. Nah. She never feel me again. Oh, where's a burger joint? Where's a burger joint? Oh, right there, I think. Oh, shit. I... We got the burger joint. Always in the universe. Please just take my pain away. I'm in reverse. Yeah, you know I got you, but I'm on my way to dirt. Let's go try it out. I mean, hey, rate this parking job one through ten right now. When you're in an RV, you can get away with a lot, okay? And, and the main one, the main thing is parking. This bitch is huge, bro. Like if I was driving this easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But I'm driving this, so it's a little more difficult. All right, let's get cheeseburger. Let me take a look at this, see if, it's, see if it looks good, you know what I mean? Guys, what, what I do every time... Oh, shit. Hold on. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you or not too bad? Uh, good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. So, oh, so Chad, listen, this is my strategy. Whenever I walk into a restaurant or like a, like a, for example, a burger joint, okay? I scout out the food. I see what the people are eating. You know what I'm saying? I got to see what the shit looks like before I actually put my, like that shit in my mouth. If I'm walking by, uh, let me see. Let me see what that looks like. 
It looks like they serve onion rings rather than fries, which I don't know how I feel about that. The burger looks like it's got a decent amount of sesame seeds on top. That's a hit or miss. Not really sure. Let's keep, let's keep going here. <laughs> I just walk in and I run the ox, dude. Now turn that shit off. All right, let's have a seat. Let's go to the far back. Now, actually, you know what? This, this seat's creeping me out. I can't see anything. Let's go here. I need to be able to see. Okay, here we go. Um, let's put some pepper. Uh, I don't I don't want pepper anyways. Uh, let's grab the salt. Let me see. What, oh, good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Um, yeah, why not? Cheeseburger with fries. Grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. Meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Ooh. I gotta go cheeseburger, man. That's what I came in for. Aha. Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Ooh, large Coke, coffee, or strawberry slush? What am I going with, guys? Strawberry slush. Shit. I mean, that sound kind of kind of nice. All right, let's go with the large cock. Perfect. Anything else? Uh, that will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Uh, fuck your salt, by the way. Stupid ass. And you know what? Fuck this ketchup, too. Actually, you know what? I need the ketchup, so I'm gonna keep it there. I actually gotta go pee, so... <laughs> what? All right. My bad. Oh, my God. That was a strong stream. Wash my hands, because that's what I always do, right? Okay. Let's check this place out a little bit. Scope it out. What are you eating, sir? Oh, he got the meatball sub. Okay, what did you get? Oh, you got the cheeseburger, huh? That actually looks pretty good. What'd you get? Damn, bro. Loud as hell. I mean, I can't even lie, dude. The burger looks pretty good. Oh my God, is this me? Yes, dude. Quick service too. What's up, baby? That's my... Oh, that looks good as fuck, man. <laughs> Consuming! Uh, let's eat the fries next. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Now, this shit nice. Wait, Kayla's texting me. So, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Told you, hee hee. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Okay, that guy's going to rip a squirt. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else? Or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. You know what? I didn't need this, so fuck that shit. <laughs> I didn't need to catch him either. Fuck that shit. Yo, my bad. I don't know how those got over there. The old, the other customer must... Here's the check. Your total is $6. Now, you know what? She seemed pretty nice. I'm going to give her a nice 50% tip, bro. That's a deal, too. That's a deal. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. All right, let's go. Guys, it's $6 for a burger and fries pretty good. Let me just like scope it out, see what we're working with. Damn, bro! Yo, can I get a taste, bro? Let me get a taste. <laughs> How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through? Have a safe journey. How's that burger? I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark uh, State Park. You must have heard the news then. Wait, what news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else. There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in the forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. You know what? It's safe to assume that guy's a conspiracy theorist. Huh? Let's just get to work, man. That's, that's all we gotta do right now. Did I crash? 8.02 p.m. Oh, shit, we're good. Uh, kind of a creepy forest, but that's fine. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Is this my lookout? Should I park here? All right, let me go look at this building. Okay. 
What is this music, bro? Uh, Iron Bark State Park. Welcome Gate D. Gold Creek Trail. Let's go see if the boss is in the office. Hello? Oh, God! What the fuck? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought we were one of the- You were one of them. You scared me. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know you were hire- uh, We were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. All right, man. You care to never fucking scare me like that again? That'd be very great. And we'd be best friends, probably. Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Hey, yo, bro. You kind of close right now, man. You better back up right now. <laughs> I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Let me take the keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Thanks, bro. Wait, how you... How you... You went right through the door, man. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. You be careful. Take this. I mean, I'll take a fucking flashlight, bro. Welcome to Iron Bank, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. Nice enough guy? What? He'll be your closest contact in case of an emergency. Uh... Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Uh, why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Yo, this is the flashlight he gives me? Oh, these are the three kids, dude, that went missing that they didn't even tell me about. Please don't litter. Please stay on the trail. Switchback shortcutting destroys the vegetation. Am I supposed to go in with just a flashlight? Can I drive this way? Foot trail. No bikes, only horses. Okay, so I can't drive. I left my bag in the RV. Oh, shit. Let me go back and get it then. How do I leave my bag in the RV? That's the biggest thing, bro. I probably got like a sleeping bag. I probably got some goldfish, you know? I probably got some Capri Suns in there. Where's my bag? Oh, yeah. My bag's right here. Grab the bag. And now we go. 11.32 p.m. That's past my bedtime. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get something. Tower 11? Wait, I have to go to 12 or 11? I think I have to go to 12, right? Iron Bank. Tower 11, 170 feet. I mean, I need to go to 12, though. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Utility shack. Let's go check the utility shack. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. All right, what we got? Maybe like a wrench or like a hammer or something? What we got, man? Oh, by no clears, bro. We got a gas tank, gas can. Is that a... F oh, that's bear spray. Okay, that'll be nice. That'll be nice to use. This isn't even my fucking... My shack. I need to go to the other one. Where is 12? Oh, I have to be at 11. This is mine then. Oh, my bad. The door was open? Wait, what do you mean? No, it wasn't. All right, let's go up. Once you're on top of the tower, you're done. Once you're on top of the tower, you're... I fucking couldn't read it! Yo! All right, here's my tower. I'll show my bag now. This is my home for the next few months. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. Bro, where's the generator? Chat, what does a generator look like? Is that this? Where the fuck's a generator, man? Fuck. Oh, here it is. I'm so, so silly me, silly me. Let me go back up to work here. Let me uh, clock in type shit. I have to clock in, right? What? Initializing. Rainbow 98 password. Wait, what would my password be? Penis 69. Fuck. Password? System password is Iron Bark Tower Number. Oh, okay. Iron Iron Bark 11. Iron Bark 11. Nice, dude. Let's go. Okay, okay. We got a Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. 
here to help you make the most of your computer today. Thanks, Smiley. How can I make your day better? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Maybe like a, like a dozen warm chocolate chip cookies and milk. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. The Amazon rainforest produces. I don't give a fuck. Give me the cookies. Rainbow trail map. Okay, so we got old radio tower. Where am I? Tower 11, right here. And this map is huge, huh? So we got a map. Service reporting. Oh Jesus. Whoa. Yo, static. Yo guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. Actually, you know what? I should ask who it is first, you know? Just to make sure I'm not exposing, I'm not doxing myself. I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Ah, thought I was going to be alone out here. You were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Gotcha. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change? Just doesn't answer, okay? I'm a transfer from Iron Knight. Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. <laughs> I really don't want to talk to Connor, huh? You got a fire going? Uh, I'm just gonna say this. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. All right, let's uh start a fire then. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Uh, no. I was actually. You gave me two seconds to do that, so thanks. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Wood stove should be around the entrance. I remember seeing that. What is that? What's that? There's no firewood? No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Okay. She was one gritty woman. Okay. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. All right, so... We have to go to the storage shack, and then I have gasoline to put in this. You don't use gasoline for this, though. You use matches. Oh, fuck. Okay. Is that number 12 over there? I'm guessing that's him. Like, oh, super far over there in the distance. Let's get some firewood for this shit. Oh, there's plenty, dude. What? Thank you, Marley. I appreciate you getting me all that firewood. That's so nice. Okay, now let me put a firewood in this. Perfect. I don't do gasoline, right? Really? Okay, maybe I do use gasoline. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no! Hold on, bro. Um, so like, all right, hold on. So I have to grab this. And then I have to light it. Yes! Yes! Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Thank you, bro. I, I, I figured it out, man. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Hell yeah. Did you report for the night yet? No, no, that's what I meant to do before you rudely interrupted me. Did you report for the night yet? Oh, uh, I'm trying. You better get to it then. Yep. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No, I'm not going to do that. I definitely know how to report. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me just... Nope, not trying to play a game right now. Nope, uh, console. Reporting for, uh, duty. Reporting for my job. Better get 300 an hour for this. Okay, they don't recognize this. And we are back. So that, that doesn't look like what I need. Hi, everyone. Okay, that doesn't look like what I need either.
cat, bad luck, right? Miss me with that. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say, congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Iron Bar Is this fucking Jack Septa guy? Park Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. Hey! This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. Okay. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Okay. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Right. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society Who the fuck is this, bro? ...require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Okay. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. Okay. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. Damn. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Okay. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Sounds good. Um, how am I supposed to know what the temperature is, man? Oh, shit. Okay, I have lights now. Oh, it's right here, bro. Spinny thing. That was just an extra. Okay. All right, what is it? 19 knots. Wind speed, 19 knots. Uh, temperature Fahrenheit. So I need to do the temperature as well. Oh, this is a compass. Where's a thermometer? Thermometer. Next to wall whiteboard. Oh, my... That was not there the whole time. I'm gonna tell you that right now, bro. Temperature's 45. That was not there the whole time. Weather condition, ah, shit. I mean, I don't know, bro. What's it look like? I see clouds. All right, it's clouds. Cloud, number of hikers assisted, zero. Reported by... Uh, what was my name? Wolves, 69. I wasn't sure if I'd put in the right weather condition. Bro, yes, I did. What are you talking about? Bro, it's cloudy. What do you mean? Okay, is it fucking clear then? Oh. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. You copy, new guy? Right, uh, Tower 11, copy. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. But does that mean I have to keep watch if you go to sleep because you're lazy? Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. All right, my name, uh, my name is what Jack. What was my so name? Don't want the bed bugs bite. I'm going to wake up and this guy's going to be like biting my feet and shit. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Over and out. I, I gotta be professional. He's not my friend yet. I don't really trust him yet. So now what? Do I just look out for some bullshit? Yeah, so he turned his light off. So that was Tower 12. Bro, just sleep? All right, fine. Fine. 3.26 a.m. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Something's going on in the computer, bro. It's 3 a.m. Something's happening. Yo! Connor? I had to pee. Where the fuck do I pee? Where's my flashlight? I need it. There's no way it's just missing. Oh, the porta potty. Oh, there it is. Fuck, I'm an idiot. All right, his light is still off. On my first night, 
Being out of my cab cabin gave me a strange feeling. Do I just pee off the ledge? Can I just like try and go back to bed, dude? Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo! Oh shit! Yo, look at my range. This is a good stream. Healthy stream. Little, you know what? Little dehydrated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's right there. Someone's right there. I need to get the vinyl clears. Who the fuck is that? Somebody's right there. I can't fucking see. There's a guy right there, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I gotta report that. Fuck. Fuck, How, I can't report that shit. What do I do? They had a flashlight, though. Um, I'll just go to bed. Fuck it. I'm gonna act like I didn't see that. Am I gonna get fired? Night two. Do I, am I gonna lose my job because of that? Look at the beautiful sunset. Yo, maybe this job ain't half bad. Sip on my coffee. Look at the sunset. I'll take a photo. All right. Look at this. Damn! 10 out of 10 picture. I'm gonna drink this entire coffee and then, and then we'll go. Let's look around here. What do we got? Anything? Any suspicious activity? Any bonfires? Any animals? Hey guy, do you copy? Yeah, I'm here, bro. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? You. Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. What happened? Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Wait, what? Oh, I see the smoke. Yeah. What's going on over there? I do, I do, I do, I do. Give me a sec. Wait, what am I doing? You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see. Wait, white smoke? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, heading north, I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods. Dude. Oh, I gotta go out there! Over and out. Oh, no! Where's my bear spray? Right here. Okay, white smoke. Okay, let's go north and check out the smoke. Do you know where north is? I mean, I would assume it's by the smoke, right? Caution, bears in area. Oh, shit. 8.37. It took me that long? I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh, fuck. Ah! Uh, hello, sir? Are you in trouble? Because I'm here to help. No camping. Violators will be... I love Jen. She gives the best... Okay. Okay, that's weird. What is that? Who's Jen? Yeah! God! Who is Jen? And where can I find her? I heard somebody scream over here. Yo, 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 Kayla. Damn. Don't blow me up like that. Emergency closure. Trail obstructed. Somebody screamed over here. Sir? Oh, who's there? Step out here. Show yourself. Yo, somebody's back there, chat. I'm gonna need you to come out with your hands up. I'm strapped up. I got the bear spray. You hear that shit? I'm not fucking around. Fuck, let me put the bear spray down. A bucket? Had to get water to put it out. All right, let me go put the water out then. Put this fire out, dangerous. God damn strong ass fire. Oh, we're good. Get my bear spray back. I'm gonna go back because I put the fire out. I did, I did my job. I got bear spray. I'm not afraid to use it. I am not afraid. I'm the king of these woods. I hear something over there. I'm just gonna keep running. Keep running, keep running. Go, 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 9.07 PM. Okay, as I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might've happened. Somebody's being weird, bro. 
Like, somebody's being creepy in these woods. They had a flashlight. It was probably that guy I saw earlier. He has a whole ass campsite. At least I know where his, his spot is. You know? Okay, so my buddy's still got his lights on. Nobody's in my room. Which is nice to know, to be honest. I had to report to Connor. Okay, let me put this down. So I don't kill anybody. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Talk about campsite? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. Yeah. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Damn, bro. They don't learn, huh? Anything else you notice in those woods? Oh, uh, yeah. There's a creepy guy walking in the dark with no flashlight somehow. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No. It did not sound like a screaming lady. It sounded like a man was just hollering. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? Oh, so I'm going to play dumb, huh? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. So we think somebody killed them, right, guys? 100%. Somebody, somebody's behind this at this point. We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Okay. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Entities? It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. Yeah, hey, thanks for putting me in the fucking haunted tower. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not, no. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. I can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Uh, keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. <sighs> Shit, bro. I, like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like somebody's responsible for these kids' the disappearance. We had a weird encounter over there in the woods. Okay, Kayla's blowing my phone up here. Kayla, I don't give a fuck, man. I got big issues over here, and you're sending me pictures of lasagna. Ah, man. Fuck, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to bed, bro. Okay, never mind. I can't go to bed. I'm hungry, and this motherfucker's sending me pictures of lasagna. She's evil. Okay, let's find some food. Panzati. Oh. Oh, you know what? My bad, Kayla. You were teaching me. Ah. <sighs> My bad, Kayla. You were trying to give me the recipe. All right. Yo, I feel bad now. What do I need, bro? Uncooked pasta marinara sauce, pepperoni, marinara. Where the hell would I have marinara sauce? Nara. Oh, shit. Pepperoni? Mozzarella? Something? Whatever the fuck this is. I don't, need, I don't know if I need that. Baked beans? No. Marinara? There it is. Okay, is that it? Diced tomatoes? There we go, bro. What is this? Garden peas? Come on. Like, are we serious right now? Yeah, here we are. Let's go! New guy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. New guy, you copy? Yep, I'm fucking here, dude. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Why do you moan like that, bro? You can't... What did they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Okay, that's relieving. Hope they can track them down and get That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it. You better get to it. They just didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. You got it. Show you what. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Hey, we like Connor, right? He seems like a good guy so far. All right, let me measure the wind speed. What temperature is it? 50.8. Okay, wind speed. 17. Anybody see the weather? What was the weather? Is it cloudy? Um, number of hikers assisted. Can it can I say one? Because I help I kinda Oh shit, there we go. Haha! <laughs> Alright. Oh, I said clear. Oh damn. I think I'm doing good at my job. 
My food's ready. Let me see this. Oh, yeah. In bed? What? Why would I eat this in bed? I'm just going to muck an entire lasagna pizza in my bed. That's kind of crazy. This is some grimy shit. I was already full. Oh, I ate half of it. So that's not that bad. So where am I putting it then? <laughs> um. Oh, shit. Yo. Damn, bro. I didn't know I could do that. That's actually kind of nice. I feel like I have more privacy all of a sudden. That's huge. Now we go to sleep. It's getting cold. Thought I'd... Oh, my God. I have to get wood? Oh, my God, bro. Firewood? What is that? Somebody's whistling. Somebody's whistling. Go, 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 go. Um, somebody is whistling. Get the fucking wood. I will not be investigating that. I just want you guys to know that, all right? They don't pay me enough to do that shit. Uh, yep, we'll do that. Grab that. And... There we go. Perfect. Time for bed. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. <laughs> 227? That's even earlier than before. I was woken by some feeling. I hear this guy whistling, dude. Still. Yo! I just saw a shadow outside. What is that? What was that? I don't have the fucking bear spray. I don't think I can hide, dude. Oh my God, I can hide. Okay. Dude, it's sent. There's no shot. It senses my microphone, bro. Yo, I think he's gone. I think he's gone. I felt the presence outside. I felt as if I was being watched. Guys, do I have to go out there right now? You have to go outside and suck him off? Okay, I'm gonna go check it out. I have bear spray. But... That didn't scare me. I'm gonna pre-fire him. I'm pre-firing. Three, two, one. Whoa! I didn't know what to make it that. What is that? The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Connor, do you copy? Uh, I need to talk to you, Surgeon. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, yes, I do. There's something outside my door. There's something eerie about this place. Outside my door. You couldn't wait until morning? I'm telling you somebody's outside my door and it couldn't wait till morning? I don't think that there's kids messing around. There's actually, there, there's a skull of a fucking, like a, like a, like a warthog skull outside. And it's a very serious problem. And Connor, if you're going to keep fucking with me here, we're not going to be cool. What if this is not a prank? Your kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. Dude, it is not a child. Let's not get carried away, you guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right. Dude. For now, just lock your door. Take a deep breath. And try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. How? It'll be morning before you know it. Okay. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Thanks. I'm supposed to just go to bed after after that shit? Oh, wow. That's great. Night three. Oh, jeez, bro. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There was something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. So it's the next night, bro. Oh, man. All right. I occupy most of my days either with simple maintenance in and around the tower. 
My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. I don't really uh, see what I'm supposed to do here. Should I just be looking in the woods? Oh, hold left. Oh, gotcha. Oh, shit. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Clean them, clean them. Gross, gross, gross. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! What is that? UFO! Report it! Alien! Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Nope! I'm gonna report! Alien! No! Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. What's the situation? I... I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Okay. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What equipment do you have with you? Uh, what's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Bro, can I just go to bed? I don't care about this guy, you know what I mean? I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. I haven't seen a flare gun, bro. I saw a UFO earlier, but... All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your surroundings? Do you remember any landmarks? What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. A small stream? Are you calling me a small streamer? Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Hey, Chad, should we tell him to take the left or right trail? <laughs> um... I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this. What decision. am I hearing? <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome. I I'm right here. What? I hear you. I hear your whistles. Uh, that's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Could it could it be a bird? One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. I'm the no one. <laughs> You're so annoying. Holy Molly! What took you so long in there? I, I was I was fucking po I was pooping, dude! I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? Just finishing up the, uh, on report. No worries, pal. Call me pal one more time, buddy. You know what I mean? Uh, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What did you bring me, dude? What were you doing there last night? Wait, what do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? Because there was a fucking fire. I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. <laughs> okay. You want to keep fucking talking to me like that? I'm going to bark at you if you call me pal again. Bobcats and bears. Careful out there, pal. <laughs> These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep... Uh, me occupied here absolutely it's just a busy job i've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge everything all right just getting used to the new environment i'm gonna mention the skull actually no response oh lord have mercy Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up all right uh i didn't no i didn't you know it's best we don't dwell on these things pal besides we can't do anything without the evidence you know i would have taken a picture if connor was it being such a loser on a... You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Okay, let's go to bed now. Now that we... 
We reported. We should be able to go to bed. It was getting cold. Oh my god. I have to go do the fucking firewood again, bro. Okay, to get more firewood, that is the goal. One, two, three, four, five. Oh god! Oh god! Who the fuck are you? You wanna play this game? You wanna play this game with me? <laughs> fuck! You just gave me a heart attack. Actually, no, I'm gonna ask who the fuck he is. No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas Yellow. What? Weird fucking name, bro. Silas Yellow? So do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, what are you saying right now? I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. That's a weird thing to say for sure. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Wait, how's he know my name? Did I introduce myself? Maybe I did. Maybe I'm an idiot, hold on. Have a good night, Jack. Remember, hope you sleep well, but remember, Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. That was one of the biggest jump scares I've had in a long fucking time, okay? You there? Yeah, it's me, bro. Give me a sec. Jeez. You got me now. Right here. <sighs> Finally. Been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas. Wait, let's see if he knows anything about Silas. Ran into who? Yo. <sighs> it's about yesterday. What do you mean, bro? You trying to yank my chain now? Are, no! I, that radio tower's been out of service for ages now. What? It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. No time soon, according to Mitch. Oh, man. And who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Why do you always think it's just a kid fucking with me, man? I, like, uh, I'm being targeted, clearly. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Uh, possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Okay, so then can we find him? Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Uh, I got this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Good night. Over and out. Over and out. Time to go to fucking bed finally, bro. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. Are you serious? Not enough, bro. What? However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Okay. 9.18 p.m. Sun's already down at this point. You got, it. You got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, let's update this fucking computer. How do we do this? Um, for command information, type help. Check for available system update. Okay, three updates found in total. Oh, shit. Oh! We updated! How are my lights? Wait, how are my windows? My windows are open. Power was out. Why can't I grab my flashlight? I can't grab my flashlight? How is my boy's power still on over there? That's unfair. Forgot to turn on the generator at first. Oh, I have to go do that. All right, gotta go turn on the generator. I can't fucking see a thing. I need to put gas in the generator. Fuck! Get the gas. Let's go fill the generator. All right.
at least we got the power back on. One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. This might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. Okay. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? I'm fucking up! Jack, you copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Uh, let me have a look. Camper out west. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Why, bro? If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Oh, shit. Okay, I see that camper over there. Oh shit, what the fuck? Wait. Space to take photo, okay? I see you guys, I got the proof. I got the proof I need. <gasps> Wait. Oh shit. Oh uh, guys. <gasps> Dunk! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's behind me? Who's behind me? Oh, he's on my ass. Oh my god. Run. Huh? Ah! Oh god. What? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nah, no, no, no. Wait a minute, bro. I'm hiding in the porta potty, even though it smells like because I released a big, mean, stinky doo-doo. Damn, he's slow as hell, bro. All right, never mind, never mind. My bad, 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 Right to the toilet. Porta potty. Porta potty. Huh? What's up, you little ugly ass? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going really fast. You're going really fast. Hold on. <laughs> Come on!
Oh my god, I made it out. Get to my foot. Where the f chat? Where the fuck was the entrance to the RV, bro? I went to the other side and it was not there. Where is it? Oh my god, bro! It's always been on the right side. Oh my god, bro! I'm going again. Come on, come on. Almost here. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Where is it? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Go! Go! This adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in the, to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. No, no! Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, this was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, those woods can become a heaven for a, a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Bro. Hey, we made it out. I don't give a shit if nobody believes my story. As long as I live to tell it and I live to fight another day, I'm happy, bro. Holy shit, the new fears to fathom, there it is. This is one of the best series of, of games that we've played. They're genuinely scary and they're genuinely fun with a story. So they've always been like that. And uh, one, two, three, four, waiting for the fifth. There we go, part four. We beat the game!